Hi, I'm Kendra. And I'm Elise. And we're from SixSistersStuff.com. And today we are sharing cheesy pizza rolls. So I have two little boys and they love pizza. So we end up having pizza probably once a week. So I thought, I need to come up with a kid-friendly way to have pizza that's not going to be all cheesy and greasy all over the place. So that's where these were born. So there's only a couple ingredients. It's really easy. You start out with a lightly floured surface. So you can just put a little flour on your countertop and roll out two pre-made pizza crusts. If you're a go-getter, go ahead and make your own. But I just, I'm all about shortcuts. So first you'll just sprinkle on garlic salt. You can do as little as much as little or as much as you want. And then after that, just sprinkle on Italian seasoning. And I like the look that it gives when the seasonings come through after it's cooked. So, so you'll notice we're not putting any, oh, wrong word, any sauce on the pizza itself. We'll actually dip them in afterwards. So it's kind of like an appetizer and it's fun for kids to be able to dip their food. So after that, you spread about one cup of shredded mozzarella and you'd want to leave space around the edge so it sticks when you roll it up so it's not falling out all over the place. So, okay. After your cheese is on, that's where your toppings come in. I am just doing pieces of pepperoni and I actually chopped them up because it's easier to roll without giant pepperonis on there. You can also buy the pre-made miniature ones and that would work as well. So after your toppings are on, you can go ahead and roll it up just like you would cinnamon rolls. So you try and keep it tight so your layers will stick to each other. That's kind of the tricky part. So once it's rolled up, you're going to cut it into one inch wide pieces. And I am going to use dental floss and it's waxed so it makes it easier to cut through it because if you cut with a knife, it's just going to smash them down. So you'll slide it under, leave about one inch and just crisscross your floss and cut it open. And then you'll place this on a greased cookie sheet. So you'll finish this with your roll and you can heat your oven to 425 while you're getting this ready. And my kids love to help me put the toppings on. Sometimes my husband puts on manlier meat than pepperoni. So he'll put like salami and ham and stuff on it. So you really can do whatever you want with it. So after you've cut your roll, I usually get about eight to 10 from each roll. So it feeds quite a few. And then you'll cook it for 10 minutes at 425 degrees and you'll be good to go. And this is what it looks like when it's finished. And for this and more easy recipes, you can visit our website, sixsisterstuff.com. Thanks for watching.